The new year can bring good luck if you eat the right food and pour the right wine. Author and wine curator David Rosengarten is here with us with luck inspiring food and wine pairings from around the world. David, thank you so much for being here. How much fun. This is Happy great. New Year. Thank you. Same to you. What's the obsession with luck? Why is it so important? Yeah, yeah, it's all superstition, of course. You know, they you know, they used to see an eclipse of the sun and go, "Oh, some evil <laughs> god is, you know." But this has been around for thousands and thousands of years, so every culture has its own you know, sense of what's lucky at New Year's. And I guess, think about your own life. When it gets to be New Year's, don't you get a little superstitious? Like Get I a little do... sentimental, yeah. Yeah, but also kind of super, like, I want to do the right thing. What's the first thing I do in 2016? Right. You think about that stuff, you know? Right. Though it makes People sense. really are focused. So yeah. the first dish you brought, steamed whole fish with ginger yeah, and Italian. Yeah, yeah, well, this is a very important um, Chinese um, idea of what is good luck. Um, most of the luck things are basically, you see something, it's a visual thing, and then you make it a metaphor. Okay. All right, so we're going to see a so couple of this, what is this whole For Chinese, fish mean? The, the metaphor is first of all, um, well, it's the head and the tail. You have oh. to have the head and the tail on the dish. Okay. You know why? Because the thought is that if you start eating here, that's the beginning, the head. And if you eat all the way down to the tail, that's a, a, a good ending. So it's a good beginning and a good ending. And uh, everything in between. And everything in between. Also, it just happens to be the case that the Mandarin word for fish is uh, you. And it's very close to the word for prosperity. Ooh, we so all like prosperity. They like fish at New Year's too. It's all these images, they're mostly about prosperity, abundance, wealth, and health and longevity. And what about drinking? What do we drink with? Yeah, this? what? Champagne. Let's start our New Year's celebration with champagne. Would Fabulous. you like to taste a little bit of this? I would love to taste it's, it. Uh, I'm going to just. Serve it on a spoon? Yeah, I'm going to serve it on a spoon to you if you don't mind. No, I don't mind and at all. This has been Looks steamed in by the way. Um, soy sauce with ginger and garlic. So let's see, there's a nice little nubbin right there that I'll give to you, and this will go great with the champagne. I'm going to take it off the bones. That wouldn't be a lucky way to I'm start I'm so impressed the they eat this. I mean, yeah, just when we're saying off. head to tail, they eat the entire thing. They do, because they, they, they go into the head, and they eat the eyes, and they eat the cheeks. and That's you know, delicious. Very nice, right? Yeah. I want you to taste the champagne with it. Um, I'm curating uh, wines for a company called Golden Ram, so I've brought three of those wines here today. Beautiful. This is uh, a champagne from Champagne, France, made by Michel Gonet, and I think it's going to be just. Here we got a cheers. cheers. Cheers! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, just right. Wonderful, fabulous. Isn't that nice? It's I could drink this all day. 2004. It's made entirely of Chardonnay, Blanc de Blanc, from a great vineyard, Grand Cru Vineyard. You could drink delicious. it all day. I could drink it all day, can but I? I'm going to put it down, and we'll get to the next dish. We got long noodles with. Chili sauce. When you drink it all day, can I hang out with you? You can hang out with me all day, yes, of course. Okay. More than welcome. So, another Chinese idea for good luck, um, and some of these dishes combine a few things, but check this out. Okay, I'm going to use my hands, but these are the noodles. Wow. <laughs> Look how long that noodle is. Yes. So, and that's just half of it. This is the whole noodle. So, for for the Chinese in the Chinese culture, Long noodles mean longevity. Again, it's a simple visual You're right. metaphor it is a visual. thing. Okay. Um, this one is done with. Uh, what's it? Give me a plate here. This one is done. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll attempt these chopsticks. Just do it. Here Just we go. it right off with the chopsticks. See if we can um, do this. This has got a little bit of a chili sauce, and it's got some greens. It's got some spinach, and uh, there's some cilantro on top. All and right. What do you think greens? Here we do? go. Yeah, it'll taste greens, it first. health, money. 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 Exactly. There's right. so many things about money in the in the New Year's Lucky Foods. Do you know that in most cultures? I should go for those greens on. Let's see. Exactly. And look this at, is amazing. Did you see the color of the tie I wore? Yes. yes. Money. Good luck. <clears throat> Prosperity. Here at the Wall Street Journal. Yes. All right. So what wine do we drink with this? Right. There's a little spice. It's a nice a little. A little kick. spice, and I have here a slightly spicy kind of, in wine terms, red wine from the south of France. All right. That I think will go very nicely with this. And by the way, red is a lucky color in many cultures. It means happiness. <clears throat> is it lucky in Chinese? Yes, yes, in Chinese, in though this is French wine. But going with Chinese food. I like it. I right? like it a lot. It's a nice um, heartwarming kind of red. I'll take that from you. And so, <clears throat> last but not least, choucru, which yes. is just a fancy way to say sauerkraut. Exactly. All that, right. that word choucru in French means sauerkraut. But if you put this, if you warm up the sauerkraut, use some gin, juniper berries to flavor it, like those guys right there, uh, put some wine in the pot, and then you serve it with all different sausages and meats. It's called choucru garni, or garnished sauerkraut. So the garnish is the meat. I'm going to make you a little plate. Do you mind? Yeah, make me a plate. And if you don't mind, why is this Lucky. Where is this lucky? There's many luck aspects in here. 
So first of all, um, people always like to eat green leafy vegetables, even if they've been fermented like sauerkraut. Hmm. So in Germany and Austria, sauerkraut is huge luck food at New Year's Eve. Yeah. Um, also, every one of these sausages is made from pork, and pork is luck food in most cultures. Uh -huh. Because the pig never goes backwards. The pig always goes forward. Uh -huh. And the pig looks like a symbol of kind of abundance and richness and prosperity, because the pig's kind of fat. Yeah. So pork and sauerkraut in Austria or Germany, New Year's Eve, you're gonna see it. All right, and, wh and while you make the plate, what, yeah. what wine do you pair with this um, fabulous dish? Well, for me, there's, there's no question about which wine I pair. The, um, this dish is probably most famous and most fancy in the eastern part of France in the region of Alsace. Mm -hmm. So one of the wines that I curate for the Golden Ram Company is a beautiful Riesling from Alsace, hmm. from a fabulous vineyard. Um, this is it right here. It's made by a great winery that's called the Cave de Ribeauville. It's a 2010. It's like, I have a knife for you too. You want to cut that? Yeah, <clears throat> try this. Um, this is one of the, the best wineries I know in the area, and it's beautiful, crisp wine that should go very nicely with the crisp, tangy sauerkraut. So the wine, the mm -hmm. wine from the region goes with the food from the region. Well, very often. We didn't do that in the case of the Chinese dishes. Right. We didn't have any Chinese wine here, but very often that's a good guideline. And I just want you to notice that on your plate there, just because I thought about you a lot mustard. yesterday when I shot this, is the mustard that's traditionally eaten with it. I was able to find one of my favorite mustards from Germany, from Ooh. Dusseldorf. Right. And that's it, right well, there. Let's it's try in this, this jar. And you say, yeah, try it with the mustard. And then Dusseldorf. So you travel all over the world. I travel all over the world. No complaints about that. <clears throat> Love mustard. Right? Isn't that good? <clears throat> this is and delicious. This wine is the very crisp, uh, dry Riesling from Alsace. Give it a sip. I think it's going to go beautifully with that. Remember, don't expect any sweetness. People often make that mistake about Riesling, but. Mm. It's not, yeah. Right? And wow. It's got good acid, so it cuts through the acid of the sauerkraut. So once again, the sauerkraut, it too is long. So, you know, it's like the longevity of the noodles here in the sauerkraut. Also, many cultures think that sauerkraut, you know, you want to have leafy greens, like we have the spinach here, because right. the greens are money. But sauerkraut particularly is thought of as folded bills of money. Oh, love that. <laughs> How can you not it. love that? Okay, so greens, mm. longevity, long noodles, long sauerkraut. Right, pork. Head to toe, fish, Head pork. to tail, and red color. We <clears> can <throat> all use a little luck. So thank you so much for the tips. My pleasure. Thank you for the information. Happy New Year's. Same it was wonderful you. meeting you. David, Thank you. thanks so much <clears throat> for being here. Thank you.